What's up guys? I am here with a gameplay breakdown. Um, I thought this would be a good idea because this was in one of my ranked games and I felt like I had a pretty good thought process throughout this play. And I also don't really want to show the full game because it was kind of a mess early and it's pretty embarrassing. But there was one specific play in this game that I did want to show you guys. So I'll go ahead and start playing the video. Speed it up a little bit. So, you see Renekton is top trying to take out a pink ward. Door is low. Elise is trying to come in and help her out. Um, what I see here is I see Renekton that has two levels on a no mana Elise and a Fiora that can't follow up. So, I'm thinking, hey, let's come get this. He starts running into the drum when I see Syndra collapse. So, I tell him to back off. But now he's getting collapsed on. He's about to be in a 1v3 because Swain isn't following. So what I do is I start to come and launch myself because I know I can burst both of these two down. I get the Fiora. Then I ult towards the uh, Elise and smite her. Gotta wait for her to come down, of course, because she repelled. Now, the only reason I'm still here is because I'm duoed with Laner, and he is now coming to follow up. Elise is very low, so I'm able to pick her up. Now, here's the important part of this play. Syndra just used her stun, so she can't... What the heck? She just used her stun. She can't keep me from chasing after that. And Swain has not been stunned. So, the way she's moving, I see that she's getting ready to flash the wall, because if she were to walk this way, it's too much of a walk, because I'll be able to go right about here and launch myself right here to burst her. So, her only escape is to flash right here. So, let's see. Oops, I skipped a little bit too far. I apologize. Okay, here we go. So, again. Syndra uses her stun on me right about now. Right about now. And right here. See, she's walking towards this way to be ready to flash over the wall. I see this and I decide to catapult myself this way. The only thing really difficult is that Swain can't really follow up. But luckily, I was able to get enough burst damage onto her. And we end up tower diving her. He actually didn't really coordinate the tower dive with me, he just kind of went pretty deep. I was able to finish her off, but it all worked out in the end. We were able to pick up three kills from uh, Renekton overextending, instead of Renekton just dying to three. So that was the play I wanted to break down for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this kind of thing, though I'm not very good with this recording device, you enjoyed it uh, let me know otherwise i'll just keep uploading full game commentaries stuff like that all right thanks